to Alaska Dig my roots in way down deep Keep the fire slow Hello happy people, so hope you guys are doing fantastic We're back home and what is it doing? What is it doing? <laughs> it's snowing! <laughs> it's snowing. We are in the beginning of April. <laughs> this is just a uh, second winter. This is, we just had fake spring. This is our second winter. It's a whole thing. Anyway, we are back from the Caymans and I feel like I'm already losing my tan. <laughs> that was very, very sad. Super enjoyable, super fun. We had a great time. I actually have like our final day adventure that I haven't showed you guys yet. So I wanted to let you guys at least that we'll, we're gonna go back, we're gonna experience it again. Uh, the beautiful weather, the beautiful beaches. And we actually got to go see some turtles. So throw you back to the Caymans. Hello, happy people. Hope you guys are doing great. Over here on a semi, well, it seems like a semi-private beach over in the Cayman Islands. Having a good time. This is the tail end of our trip. You might just, we might just do a throwback to this uh, from uh, when we're back in Alaska. But I wanted to ask you guys: Have you guys ever been to the Cayman Islands? Is this something that you've ever done or wanted to do? A few things we learned. In case you've never been here and you do want to come here, uh, one is. Uh, the driving here is pretty intense. Uh, you drive on the left-hand side of the road, and a lot of the vehicles here are either um, left or right uh, steering wheel. So that's a little bit of a different adaption. Roundabouts, maybe it's just because of our, you know, small Alaskan town kind of a deal. But the roundabouts, I'm used to like a single lane roundabout, but there's two or even three lane roundabouts, and you've got to look to see which way you're going to turn based off which lane, you're not supposed to change lanes inside the roundabouts, I don't think. But uh, yeah, uh, it, the driving is definitely way more intense than I thought here. I was able to make it work. It took me a little while, but um, just something to brace you for in case you don't know that. A few other things too. There are wild chickens that just roam around and I asked some local people, I'm like, is it for pest control? Like what's up with the, uh, with the chickens? And he said that about 20 years ago, they had a massive flood and a hurricane. And what happened was uh, some chickens got loose and there are no natural predators here for chickens, which I found fascinating. Alaska, chickens will not last very long running and roaming freely. But uh, here there's just chickens that just run everywhere. So the money system, uh, they have their own like Cayman Island currency here. And as I understand it, at least as of making this video, it's based off the US dollar. So when you go to the store, uh, prices look high, but not crazy high until you get to the check, the cash register, and uh, it's like an extra 25% uh, for US dollars versus Cayman dollars. But all I know is when you put stuff in your grocery cart versus when you check out, there's a, uh, uh, a bit of a shock, let's just say. Also electricity, uh, I was expecting to be in a foreign country with like a 50 Hertz uh, electrical connections, you know, like those big 240 volt but uh, it's not, it's a standard 120 volts, 60 hertz uh, power here. So like your standard chargers and everything work from the US here. You enjoyed your trip here? Yeah, it's been nice. After the wedding and stuff, because yeah. it was kind of stressful leading up to that a little bit, and yep. just coexisting with people and making sure, you know, everything well, well, is good. Well, it's all about Heidi and her wedding and right. making sure dad is okay. Make sure and dad's now, okay. We just now kind of released with like, hey, let's just have our, like, this, this, is, time. this is like our 20th uh, wedding anniversary yeah. this year. So, no, it's been great. It's been a fun trip, but ready to go home, see the kids. Olivia has not been feeling very good, which is yeah. kind of sad. Audrey came down with a cold. <laughs> so, Nana's there. Nana's there, Auntie's there. Everything's yeah. going to be all right, but you know, just don't like that when they're not feeling great. But we're ready to go home, but it's been a great trip. All right, we're going to get something to eat. And we're, oh, we had peppers. Peppers grill was peppers amazing. Peppers grill was amazing. We're gonna try something else yeah, now. We're gonna try something else. Okay, let's roll. Wasted money on cures. Forgot how to fix myself. They say that Tom is free. Then why is it so precious? Oh, I'll say.
hanging out with us today. See you back in the last one. Bye. So super fun. That was such a once in a lifetime opportunity. It was such a cool experience. I don't foresee us necessarily going back because it takes so stinking long to get there. Uh, but it was super, super fun. And I was super grateful to be with the whole fam and just make all all the memories we got back home just to fill you in we got back home you know nena was here she was taking care of the kids along with my sister the flu hit the house the flu hit the house so we came home to two sick babies not feeling a hundred percent and then they were kind enough to share with mom and dad mom went down way worse than dad did he only had a little bit but mom was she was in bed for a minute that was a good time <laughs> thankful they're all healed healed up good to go now we've been hitting the ground running we as per usual we've been hitting the ground running um we have a bunch of things coming down the pike we have things that we're tying up finishing up as far as like school goes we can see the light at the end of the tunnel i've got a few more things i need to get in for like credits and samples and all the things for end of year which i'm super super excited about then we have an alaskan apparel launch coming down the pike I know a lot of you guys would be like, hey, Jess, when are you, you going to get on that? I'm, so, I'm on it. <laughs> we actually have that coming, and I actually already shot a fun little campaign um, talking about springtime here in Alaska. Not that you would think it is right now, but it was dripping. <laughs> it was melting when I filmed it. Springtime here in Alaska, so let me share that with you. In the heart of Alaska, where the winters are long and the darkness can feel absolutely endless, there comes a moment of transformation. The icy grip of winter loosens its hold. The warmth of spring emerges, bringing with it a renewed sense of hope and newness. We finally feel the warmth of the sun again, a time to plant seedlings and nurture their growth with the promise of tomorrow. Just as the changing seasons bring new life, so can our connections with others, breathing life into our souls. Whether it's a listening ear or a comforting presence, the bonds of community can help us navigate through any situation. As we emerge from the darkness of winter into the light of the glorious spring, we remember the power of connections, the beauty of the journey, and the excitement of new beginnings. So super cool, we're gonna actually be doing that April 13th. Mark your calendars, April 13th. It's a Saturday at 12 p.m. Alaska Standard Time. Whoop, whoop. We're going to have an Alaskan apparel launch. And that campaign video, that kind of only highlighted a few of the products that we're coming out with or a few of the styles that we're doing. Head on over to our Instagram and there will be photos and product photos and all the things of all the things that we're getting ready to launch. So super excited about that. We've got some fun stuff too. Um, around that same weekend, Evelyn has one more gymnastics meet. This is regionals. As a level six, you just get kind of invited to be able to go. It's like an invitational, which is super fun, cool experience where people from Idaho, Washington, all around, and they're actually hosting it here in Anchorage. So the whole family, I think including Kastner, uh, we're going to head to Anchorage. Anyway, that will be super fun. Super excited about that. Okay, all the things. Gosh, it is cold, but look, 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 look. Like I said, it was dripping. What is that? What? Is, that's grass. That is grass. It is coming. We're supposed to be uh, warmer this weekend. This is our last little bout. Let's hope. Because it's, uh, it's uh, 20 degrees right now, and we're done. We're done. We're over it. Okay, anyway, let's continue on with the day. We'll share what's been going on, fill you in on all the things. We're hunkering in. We've kind of been staying home a lot <laughs> because we're just kind of getting our bearings and all the things. So anyway, all right, let's continue on with the day.
Can you believe we went to the Cayman Islands? I actually cannot. Like, I still feel like it's something that's coming down the pike. Don't mind our dog. He is literally, he's thoroughly enjoying his bone. Uh, good, good time? Chilling. <laughs> yeah, you're like, it feels like a dream. Like, it didn't even, it, yeah. It was so odd. But I loved it. It was. It, it was, was a so neat fun. experience. I'm actually glad we were able to video because that way you're able to just like, oh yeah, that happened and yeah, then that happened. Yeah, I remember it. And then uh, actually for people that live, can you imagine living in that type of a island type of uh, atmosphere all the time? No. No? No. Would you not enjoy that or no. would you? I think I'd go a little stir crazy. You sure? I'm almost positive. Like island fever? Yeah, like the whole island is like 27 miles or something crazy like that. What about like Hawaii or that type of a... No. no? Why? I don't think so. I don't know. I think I just would feel like... We're used to so much so land much here. Space. <laughs> so much space. Or just the feeling of being able to like drive if I needed to. Oh, yeah. And like leave where I need to go and not have to rely like on an airplane or a boat. Right. I want to be able to just be independent. Yes, that's true. Feeling like you're sitting in the ocean. That was a little... I. I mistakenly looked on find my find my friends and was like, oh, there's my family. There's, and here we are. <laughs> Way out in the I middle of the like, ocean. Oh, there's like this big Jamaica, right? And it's like, oh, that's a good. Oh my, teeny tiny. And I was like, one good earthquake, one good tsunami. And this little postage stamp of a place. Caymans is, is gone. <laughs> it's so funny. Like we talk about that, but. A lot of people are actually afraid of Alaska. They're like, oh my gosh, Alaska, it's cold, it's harsh, there's bears everywhere. We're talking to the kids too, like what was it like having mom and dad gone? And I think that, uh, of course they all missed us, but I think Garrett and Livy missed us the most yeah. is kind of what I gathered from they them. Did, but, they did. And like growing up for you, like your parents never traveled without you. You guys are always around. But like for me growing up, mm -mm. it was my parents were always on business trips and always leaving and so complete opposites. Complete opposites. So we have a balance. Yeah. We have kind of a mixture. But that was good, I felt, for the kids <laughs> yeah. to, to do that. Mm -hmm. And then back in the saddle, all the things, last apparel, all that's run down the bike. We're trying. Are yeah. we are we showing them any pieces? Or I think you, you gave them a little bit of a sneak peek, right? I gave them the campaign, like the full okay. on dealio. Nice. I said that it wasn't everything that we're gonna have. It's just little, I didn't show everything, but mm -hmm. to look out for product pictures and all the things, so. Yay! Should be a good time. Oh, Audrey uh, got to do something kind of, kind of fun. We might share in the next video, right, Audrey? Share that in the oh, next. Yeah. Art, do we have permission to share that? Maybe we'll do it in the next video. Put it in any video you want, but you guys have my permission to watch it. Okay. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> okay. Let's just say Audrey did something awesome. You'll see soon. Yep. With that, we're trying to get our bearings, all um, the things. We're getting ready to go to Anchorage. Oh yeah, Anchorage. Anchorage is coming. We've got Evelyn's last little. Uh, Regionals competition. Yep. Should be fun. We're gonna take the whole fam bam. Yeah. That will be a good time. Go, go, go. You guys are awesome. You're great. And as amazing as the Cayman Islands were, it is still good to be home. Mm -hmm. That's that weird? Does that make us weird? No. People Should we want to, to live in the like no. that type of some people will. But Actually, leave a comment down below. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? I would love to know that. Because I don't know if Alaska is always gonna be our home, right? I don't, I don't, I don't think so. My goal, see, is to live in multiple places, multiple little locations that we mm. can bounce to. Do the snowbird thing. Do the snowbird thing, you know, like get, go to someplace warm or be able to go spend some time at a beach. Or... Okay, leave that down below. Yeah. If you could live anywhere or any two places, what, where would you live? Yes. I'd be curious to see that. So that, you guys are awesome. You're amazing. And we'll see you in the next video. Fly beneath the northern lights Live a simple life Out where wildflowers grow I can taste the honey wild Mother nature's child I'll take it soft and slow